Jason? Do you know what time it is, Frank? Yes, I do. Sorry. I can, can I just say one thing? My father used to say that his mother, my, my, my grandma, uh, was an ecstatic. And I mean by that that she used to experience not just joy, but like total, almost orgasmic bliss at, at the most mundane seeming things. I mean like uh, biting into a cantaloupe. Or, or, or repotting a plant, or, or, or flossing her teeth. When we were kids, we just figured she was nuts, you know? <laughs> That's what it's like when I'm with your daughter. You know, I could be having a conversation with her, and we just talking, you know, and, and the words will be coming out of my mouth, but it's like they just stop and hang there. It's like time has frozen, and in that moment, the world has become impossibly alive. And I'm just aware of absolutely everything of how intoxicating the smell of her hair is, and, and the whiteness of her teeth, and, and how, how her name tastes on my tongue. You know, in this moment, I am just totally in love. Not just with her, either. I mean, with the whole world for being a part of this moment. With, with you, for having brought her into this world, for having raised her, for, for giving me the opportunity to love like this. Uh, Frank? Yeah. I don't have a daughter. Fifty-seven, fifty-five Woodbridge Lane. Woodbridge Road. You should have turned left at the second stop sign. Sorry, can I just ask, how was that? Very nice, very sincere. The hug was too much though, wasn't it? <laughs> Good luck.